Hi, I'm Prashanti. You're watching Cook with Prashanti. Since this is festival season, I decided to bring few Diwali recipes to you. These recipes are from Sanjeev Kapoor's Kitchen Secrets Mithai book, which are simple and easy to cook. If you are a beginner, you can also try and make your family and friends happy. Today's recipe is sago paisam. For this recipe, first you need to take one fourth cup of sago, clean and soak in water for one hour. Later, drain the water and set aside. Now we need to take a deep pan, preferably non-stick, and heat two tablespoons of clarified butter or ghee, and fry. Split cashew nuts. Here I have taken twelve of them. Fried them and removed them and set aside. Now to the same clarified butter or heated ghee. Add soaked sago, then saute for one minute. Later followed by half cup of water. We need to use same. Cup for measuring all the ingredients. First, measure all the dry ingredients, and later the liquid ingredients while cooking. Once it comes to a boiling point, we need to check whether sago is cooked or not at this stage. By looking at it, we can tell if it translucent. It is cooked. Or by taking few in hand and trying to smash it, if it is smashed smoothly, then it is ready. At this stage, we need to add three cups of hot milk and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we need to add half cup of sugar and one teaspoon green cardamom powder. And continue to cook on sim for five to six minutes, or the till you reach the desired consistency. After that, you can turn off the flame and garnish with the fried cashew nuts. And our sago paisam is ready to be served. I hope you like this recipe. If yes, do let me know in the comment section below. I will be back with more such interesting and simple to cook recipes in future. So please subscribe to my channel. If you are already a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video that's all for today see you next time bye